or welcome back to the channel. This is Anna's Thoughts in Musical Parody, and I am Anna, your hostess. Thank you so much for being here today. So for anyone who wants to support what I do here, I just created a new vintage reselling profile, and I have some Brixton hats that are just slightly imperfect and could not be sold at retail, as well as some actually brand new coach items that I'm selling well below the retail price. You can find that link on the second page of my website that will always be linked in the description. And it's right at the top of that page where it says Brixton and Coach Outlet on Vinted. You just click on the support small business link and it takes you to the page. Thank you so much. Well, hello there. Thank you again for being here. It's so nice to have you. Um, so this video is going to be rather different from what these videos are usually like. I've mostly been focusing on politics and, uh, like, you know, the Bible and how current events tie it together and all that kind of stuff. But today is going to be something different and unique. So today is kind of a significant day. It is February 2nd, 2022. Uh, it's almost over on the East Coast, especially, but yeah. Uh, it's especially significant to me because two is my favorite number, <laughs> has been for a couple years now, I think since like 2019, and I am about to tell you why. So I used to work at this grocery store in another city where I lived, uh, and one night I was, I think, leaving work and... Uh, bought a few things on my way out and we got a discount and after my discount was applied my I'm pretty sure it took two dollars and 22 cents off of the total and then it ended up at 22 dollars and the cashier and I were both thinking like wow that's uh interesting you know it's kind of what are the odds you know and I was like you know I'm gonna go home and look up the significance of the number two or 22. I think I looked up 22, um, you know, just for fun, just to see what comes up. And I think it was either the very first thing or, you know, one of the first things that I found was, uh, this random website made by a person who said that he used to be, I think it was a, he used to, um, be really into numerology and I think his website used to be about that and it now you know at that time said that he had renounced that because he had come to Jesus Christ and he was now a Christian and so that was pretty interesting that that was like the first thing that I found especially because I can somewhat relate to that because I used to be very into New Age and paganism myself, which I think I've shared like once or twice before, but a lot of you probably were not aware, so there's an interesting factoid about me. Yeah, I was raised a Christian from, you know, when I was a child. I dedicated my life to Jesus on my own um, when I was about nine years old. I was just lying in bed and just thought, oh, wow, you know, I, I guess I should actually, like, actively do this for myself, you know, not just go to church with my family. So that's what I did. But then, you know, as I became a teenager, I stopped kind of caring as much and really thinking about God as much. And, uh, you know, I still did, but it was, I was sort of fading away from it. And, uh, and then when I was... 16, almost 17, I met this guy, and once I was 17, we were, like, officially dating, and he ended up changing my mind about Christianity. He, uh, he was actually very manipulative and abusive. I think I've shared that a couple times before. Um, but one of the things that he did initially was... He just showed me all these documentaries and things about um, evolution and just was constantly telling me how, you know, it didn't make sense to believe in any God at all and uh, how evolution was a thing and all this stuff. And uh, after, I don't know, maybe a few months or something of just 
constantly being exposed to that and not really being around Christians, I um, decided that I was going to be atheist. And it's really weird to think about because it only lasted for maybe like a year or two, I think. Maybe longer, actually. It's hard to remember. But uh, I just can't imagine being an atheist. <laughs> I mean, yeah. So that was weird. But um, then eventually, I think maybe around 2014, 2013, maybe. So yeah, I guess it was actually a few years. That's crazy. But uh, around that time, um, he showed me these documentaries about uh, quantum physics. Uh, the one in particular that I thought was really interesting actually is called, I think, Through the Rabbit Hole. And uh, it talked about the idea of a singularity. I think I saw other stuff about that too, you know, like we would watch Neil deGrasse Tyson and stuff. Um, and how basically everything in the universe could be traced back to like a singular starting point. And the more I thought about that and how they were saying everything is just like comes from the same source and you know everything kind of boils down to energy and all that stuff I was like so what what is that like wh what is that source I guess um I felt like there had to be something behind that like how was that just there on its own you know <laughs> um yeah, and it was just really interesting and intriguing to me. And so I started asking, I had a job at the time at movie theater, and uh, started asking everybody who I worked with, like, what they believed of spiritually, if they believed anything, and just trying to explore and figure out if there was a higher power. Um, and then I eventually started going to college. <laughs> um went to Palomar College in San Marcos and I took a cultural anthropology class and our semester project was to write a 10 page, um, you know, like journalistic report about a religion of our choosing. And I decided to go with Wicca because I just, I don't remember like where I had even learned about it before, maybe like movies that we had watched and stuff about witches that I thought were fun and exciting or whatever. Um, I think I did I think they were interesting. Um, yeah, I thought I found, I found it intriguing. So I decided to do that. I ended up, um, it was very hands-on. So I ended up going on meetup.com and finding this Wiccan high priestess. Um, and I went to her house a few times and interviewed her and I even took part in a couple of rituals with her and her coven members, interviewed them and everything, um, just did my own research online, and I thought it was so fun and so interesting, and I eventually decided that I wanted to be a Wiccan myself, which is funny because um, the, the professor in the class had told us specifically not to get sucked into the religion, but, you know, I didn't care. The class was over and I had finished my paper and everything. I actually started going to these classes about Wicca at that lady's house. I was just really depressed, though, and uh, so I stopped caring about any kind of any of the Wicca stuff anymore. And so I stopped going to the classes, which I'm very thankful for now. Um, yeah, and then I was basically being brought to the end of my rope and becoming very depressed and suicidal, um, very anxious all the time, that um, ultimately led me to finding Jesus again um, for a long time because I was very liberal and everything and indoctrinated into that belief system. I was very interested in spirituality, but I thought, you know, anything but Christianity. <laughs> Because that's too close-minded and, it's, uh, you know, I just don't like it. Um, but long story short, I ended up moving in with my parents. Um, 
when things got really bad for me and they've always been Christians and just wouldn't stop talking to me about God even though I asked them not to and uh, told them that they just believed that way because they were uneducated. <laughs> um, and this was 2015. And eventually one night I ended up um, giving my dad a chance and my husband and I were actually at the location today where I sat down with my dad and I was at the beach and uh, gave him all of my arguments about why I thought science contradicted the Bible. And he's always been very into that topic of like uh, Christian science, basically, I mean, not the, not the religion, Christian science, but like science from a Christian perspective. And, uh, so he had some good answers for me. So I actually decided that night to give God, Jesus, a, a chance. Um, and that was the first step in that direction. But then the next day I was actually like, really, I changed my mind. I was like, that was crazy. Why did I just do that? You know, I think I was under spiritual attack. Um, but maybe like a week later, I ended up going to church with my parents just to get out of the house. And they were talking about the book of Revelation and like the tribulation. And there were also people talking about how they had peace all the time and they had joy despite life's trials and tribulations. Um, and I could see a genuine difference in the people at the church that they were just more kind and loving than the average person. There was just something different about them. So, you know, I was thinking, I don't want to be there, be here on earth for the tribulation, if that's a real thing. And I need what these people have. So that night I decided to do it again, like invite God, the Holy Spirit, into my heart. Um... And that time it stuck. Like, I was still kind of questioning it again for a while afterward, but people encouraged me to stay with it, and I'm so glad. Um, actually, that night, you know, I was still suicidal and stuff, but I had this, like, supernatural joy, and I was smiling, which was just, like, not the norm for me at all. It was unheard of for me at that time. I felt peaceful. I was excited about praying because I hadn't prayed in like 10 years or something. Um, yeah, so that was just truly miraculous. And so, yeah, that's my testimony. And it basically connects to why I like the number two because uh, it just reminds me of how uh, my testimony is similar to whoever made that website. That was what came up when I searched for the meaning of the number 22. Um, yeah, and ever since then, I've just been like seeing either 22 or 222 a lot. And anytime I do, it just um, makes me feel more at peace. Like it's a reassurement from God that everything is good in the way it's supposed to be. And um, now my baby is going to be born this year, 2022 actually just about two months from today the due date's like april 5th april 6th um so yeah it's just uh, i thought i would share that story since today is february 2nd 2022 and hope you enjoyed that please share your comments and i will see you around bye thank you again so much for being here today since you liked the video enough to make it all the way to the end don't forget to click the thumbs up and share with somebody else who would also find it interesting. Leave your comments in the comment section below so we can have a conversation. And if you want to support what I do here, check out the link in the description for several different ways that you can do that. Have a wonderful night, afternoon, morning, evening, whatever time zone you are in, and I will see you next time.